back, welcome back, welcome back, Gunners! Welcome back, my beautiful subscribers. I hope you guys love the reintroduction of the AK-47. It looks like I've got a ton of support in the comments. Thank you so much for all the positivity. Uh, let's address an elephant in the room. Uh, where's Trappy? Uh, guys, Trappy is going in a different direction. And I'm assuming um, that's what he wants to do. I've tried to have a, a conversation with him uh, to... to uh, see what's going on you know what's the plan what's his future looking like and um i haven't gotten a response so he's still my brother i still love him whatever it is that he is going to do i will definitely support it again you know brothers bump heads every now and then and that's normal that is life it's it's that's what family does you know and then eventually they get back together but i just need everyone here to understand that what do you want me to do do I stop? Do I wait? Do I stop working on the car? Do I stop designing merch? Do I stop shipping out your orders? Do I stop trying to help you get coupon codes? Do I stop interacting with you until I figure out what's going on with Trap? No, that's not me. I keep telling everybody I'm a fucking freight train, bro. I don't stop for nothing. I want to continue to work. I try not to leave this lift empty. So the only thing that I can tell you is... Uh, let's pray the best for Trap, whatever on his future endeavors. I pray that he makes everything that he wants happen in life come true. Moving forward. Um, I want to get this motor out of this car. I did a few things behind the scenes, like take off the traction bar, uh, unclip a couple of harness pieces and whatnot. And I just want to... I just maybe today want to start working on the engine bay. I want to get the header off. I want to get the headlights off, maybe the front end. I don't know yet. Now I'm pressed against time. It's technically like 9.49 in the morning. I got to get to Scarlett's uh, school birthday party by 1.45. But I don't want to rush this process. I want to have fun. I want to put my music on. I want to enjoy myself. Um, but without further ado, we're here. I'm glad you're back. Smash that like. Share this share this video. Get me to 70k subscribers. We're at 61. We need 9,000 more. I know we can do it. We're about to give out a lot of information. We're about to have an amazing amazing restoration with this machine. Sorry for the lengthy intro. I just wanted to kind of um you know, cross some Ts and dot some Is again. Trap is my brother. I love you, bro. I don't know what you're going through mentally, but I have to move on. I have to go. I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of people to try to keep happy. So, um, you know, show some love to Trap in the uh, comments below. He's done a lot for the movement. He's helped me uh, become very successful and I don't want to make it look like I'm just moving on and never speak about him. He's responsible for almost 50% of my success in life and um, I'm forever going to be his friend. So uh, let's start gunning. All right. All right now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. All right. All right, guys. Yep. All right. All right, guys. All right. All right. So. Okay, boys. You got something to say, Forty? Yeah. Hi. So the majority of the wiring all goes, you know, obviously from inside the car and then on to here. I made a separate harness just in case I wanted to run the coils back together. That's this harness that Pi built for me here, right? I pushed all that to the side. I took off my motor mount. Uh, I'm. The reason I said motor mounts is because a lot of you in the comments before is asking what kind of motor mounts these are. These are Myers Billet Lean motor mounts. These are very, very old. Um, I know that he stopped making them and then he like made like a special pre-order batch. I don't know if these are available, but these are full solid billet mounts. These were very hard to get. And I and unfortunately I have a set. Um of these on the AK-47. 
So I'm just trying to remember kind of like, hey, uh, what were the questions like in the comments? And I'm just trying to answer them through there. Um, Myers billet motor mounts lean. You can try and find out if he still sells them. The header is a Myers header. Um, and yeah, I took off the uh, scatter shield. The scatter shield, I have my coils, my external coils uh, mounted to there. So pretty much, I always, n normally, I like to work pause on the bottom of the car because then the top is just much easier. Pause. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do next. Let me bring the car up. Let me knock out the axles. Um, let me loosen up a couple of motor mounts in the back there. Pause. And then I can just put my stand on and I'll be able to roll. I'll be able to bring the car down, release the motor mounts and literally push the motor straight forward. Now, sometimes we used to take off the box here and then it'll just make it easier to clear here. Since I'm already taking the car apart, I'm just going to take off this floating headlight and then I'll be able to roll the motor out. I'll show you guys in a sec. Oh, really, really important, guys. I'm sorry about uh, I was going up and then pause. I remembered that I have to um, talk about this. This carbon front end fenders and the bumper is going to go to a gunner named Slayer. He's building an all-motor car. I promised him that I was going to give him this front, car, this carbon front for free. I've gotten a ton of DMs asking, hey, Aki, can I please buy it from you? Can I win it? Can you raffle it? I'm not doing that, guys. I'm just trying to be a man of my word and give it to an up-and-coming all-motor racer that is a simple underdog. So this carbon front is already claimed for. I'm not taking a penny for it. I'm really not trying to sell anything off of this car. I'd rather just give it back to you guys in some form of a gift so I can just show you how much I appreciate you. But I really wanted to cover that part about the carbon front. I love you guys. Be right back. All right, now I'm just going to take off the wheels so I can just get to the 36 millimeter pause. That's what I hate about these settings. Kind of got to... You kind of got to put these, uh, like, you kind of got to put the socket in halfway, pause. Um, but I figured while I'm at, like, you know, chest height, pause, I might as well take off uh, the axle nuts. And these are, um, these axles are really heavy. Um, 5.9 drive shaft shops. They, they roughly go for about, I don't know, sometimes you can get a good deal on them and get them, like, brand new for, like, I don't know, like 1500 bucks. But for the most part, they're like 1899, two grand. Uh, what would I have to say about 5.9 axles? Worth every penny. Worth every penny. Uh, I, I, we all know that feeling that we get when we go to a racetrack and it's in the back of our mind that, man, I hope I don't break an axle. With 5.9s, you don't ever have to worry about that. Unfortunately, for an all motor car, they're way too heavy. But I did take that over the weight. They are very, very heavy. But again, I think they're worth every every penny. And um, since I'm not racing anymore, I'm most likely um, going to put 36 millimeters on here. Um, honestly, it's just... And, and if I do go out to test the car... I want to see the difference. I want to see the difference of uh, seeing, you know, how much more, uh, how much more they can withstand on this much power. But uh, stock axles, I've seen stock axles hold up almost a thousand horsepower. I mean, OEM though, not like aftermarket refurbished stuff. Uh, but I guess, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm just gonna wait for an ant any special. And see, you know, sometimes he posts up the spindles for like 250, 300. It'll be like cross drilled and 36 millimeter car set hubs. 250, 300, I mean, home run. He did, I mean, you don't have to buy the bearings. You don't have to uh, get them pressed on. So, you know, big shout out to my boy Ant E N Y. Um, tires are off, axles are loose, and um, I'm gonna make my way under the car. You're going to hear a lot of shit in the background. These guys from next door don't give a fuck about me filming or working. So everything they do is yelling. So 
I'm sorry about that. I've got to deal with it. Note to self. Well, note to you guys. Sometimes you can get lucky and get the blow joint out by using a pry bar. Sometimes it pops up. Sometimes you need to put the crown nut on and then just give it a whack pause. But let's see if I get lucky. Almost. I see it moving. All right, that one's going to be much easier to take out. I see it already moving. So just a little bit more TLC. Okay, this one a little bit on the rough side. So what I want to suggest for anyone that's taking off axles, again, um, a lot of you know how to do this. So a lot of you don't. Just spreading information. If you ever want to take off um, your axles and you're getting rid of that ball joint, never take off that fork. So leave that 17 with the 17 on the other side so that when you hit it, pause, it gets all the impact and it doesn't rub back because it's, it's loose, right? So nice and simple. Almost. Ah, oh, you know what? This is a perfect time to show you what I've been dealing with, right? Watch this. And I've been racing the car like this for a couple of years and I could never figure it out. Okay, you see that? How it's favoring one side of this control arm? See, as I'm trying to push it up, it's kind of like fighting against it. Now look at this side. It's dead straight. And also, this was causing some kind of friction here. Bear with me. I'll get you better lighting. Of course, because this light shut off. But this is great information. This is very rare to see. So, fighting here, right? And then here, it's dead straight. And I also had some kind of resistance on this rotor. Jesus Christ, what's up? Oh, there it is kind of see where this was rubbing something right so I'm gonna finish taking off these control arms I'm gonna get these axles out of the way and I'll be right back but I can't wait honestly to get the motor out and compare these two control arms and see which one was really really bad how bad were they this axle didn't really give me too much too much of a problem right the other one The other one is going to give me a problem because it needs uh it needs it needs th these are great guys these 5.9s i mean good luck breaking these um the most that will happen is like on a really high horsepower car is that these splines will start to twist but on this axle in the transfer case side which is the transmission side here right so that will those splines will eventually start to twist. But in this case, these axles are still in great shape. <laughs> Five years, man, never broke them. Never had a problem besides this one here. So I got this control arm down. Again, going to make it into a roller by just simply taking off this 17. These spherical's are shot too. They're done. So it would, it, this car was really in dire need of, of suspension upgrade. So, put these back in. Now my car is a roller. I'm not going to tighten this up because remember, I'm going to take all of this back apart. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So it's kind of like out of my way. So, bear with me. <laughs> Let me figure out how I'm going to tackle this control arm on that spindle. But. So far, everything is just doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, look, I've got tension on it. Look how bad it is. See how it's favoring the inside of the control arm? So these were definitely messed up, 100%. And I know it had, it had an effect on my car because it would cause a drag and it kind of be holding it back. So whatever speed we went, yeah, we kind of, kind of hurt ourselves by not changing these arms because you'd never think that this would bend. So now I'm still kind of struggling with it. I've got pressure here. I'm going to try to press down on here. I tried releasing this and maybe moving the arm down myself, but uh, 
<sighs> you know, if it ain't tough, then I don't love you back. Okay, so that trick worked. Added tension here with the third man. I loosened it from the fork again, and what happened was I just pried down on the control arm, and it just literally popped. But look how far off I am, see? We always had to fight this spindle. Look at that, it's really bad. Um, we also thought that the axle could be too long and that's why it's pushing this further out, but we've measured them with other 5.9s, we've measured them with 36 millimeter uh, stock axles, they measure up pretty much the same. So either the control arm is messed up or really our measurement isn't really good on this axle, but it is what it is. I got it out, I'm almost done. Another question to be answered was, what, uh, what is this Aki who makes it? This is an FCS tubular subframe. So what it does is basically cut the weight of a stock subframe by more than half. And when you're in the world of all motor, um, every ounce counts. So I had put that on here um, just to save some kind of weight. So I'm onto this motor mount bracket here. And... I want to remove the motor mount bracket from here because then working at the top pause, I don't have anything that's fighting me underneath. So I'm pretty much finished. Like it was just the axles down here and then this motor mount. To release that, my engine cart uh, fits with um, the half shaft on. I can take that on later afterwards. Uh, just to have better access onto it. Um, that's fairly it. Yeah, does it fit? I think it, it fits with the, with the half shaft on. Um, 17 here. All right, I'll take care of that from the top. I can take care of that from the top. It's a 19. Yeah, I'm pretty much done under here, guys. All set. So now let me lower down the car and let me... Um, you know what, let me get that stand, let me get the cart on there now so I don't have to come back up. I can leave the cart, so. Let me get the bolts and stuff ready. Got my cart on, very simple. Just, it looks so weird because it's leaned right now, but just basically thread the, he gives you all the bolts. Again, if you're looking for an engine, uh, engine cart to like, you know, use around the garage, this is one of the best assets I have next to the Milwaukee stuff. I mean, I'm by myself. Got a lift, it's pretty much easier, right? But even if you don't have a lift, you put your car on, you just make sure it's above these wheel heights and you start doing the damn thing. So I have, I have basically this side set up. I gotta put a 14 here, which I think the one that I picked out is a little too long. I, I don't know what happened to the hardware that came with it. I had it, but we've used this cart a few times. Not that difficult, it's just 14s. But it needs to be a little bit longer than this guy right here. Um, okay, you guys hold tight. What's for lunch over there? What are you guys doing right now? Who's having dinner? What's for dinner? <laughs> Talk to me. I'm working. I'm reading your comments. Talk to me. At this very moment of this vlog, what are you eating? I hope somebody writes, pussy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. My car is on, guys. I'm set. Now, I lower this car, right? I lower this car. I start working at the top of it. I'm gonna roll it right out. That easy. Get this thing down to about uh, waist height so I could still um, take care of like the slave cylinder, take off the header. I don't want the car too low. I've already got an advantage on not having a front end on. So I could work nice and easy, nice and calm. I'm not in a rush, you know? I'm taking my time, everything's coming out great. Everything uh, besides this control arm has been going smooth. So, just double check underneath. Now, I've got two bolts holding up my header at the moment. I have to release the V-band first, and then I have to get off of the cylinder head, 
move the header out of the way, right? Finish knocking out um, the back motor mount bracket. Remove this floating headlight and I can just roll this motor out. So not to bore you with the details, let me just get it ready to where I basically you know, hit the lift. Awkward. I got my V-band off. And now what I have here is, hold on, let me see. Is my angle right? Just give me one second. Okay, yeah, my angle's right. So right now I just have my titanium studs that are holding up this header, right? Now, just to make my life easy, I normally, I normally kind of um, like leave this bolt in so that when this header, you're going to see it start to sag and stuff. It's just, that'll be the last bolt you take off. But let me, let me get rid of these here. Then I'll be able to take the header off. So you could use, uh, right now, I'm just using uh, this ratchet. But you could use it for this specific one is a 13 millimeter 12 point stud. I'm almost at the point where I can take it off hand tight, hand loose, and it's not letting me do it. You ever get to that point when you're working on the car and you're like, ah, I think I got it. I could take the rest out by my hand. And then you hit that wall. And this is where I'm at right now. And these, these studs are brand new. So Again, I don't know what. I'm almost there. Oh, it's that dreaded camera thing again. You know, when the camera's on, shit doesn't go according to plan. I should have just used the 13, 12 point. I'd have been done. We would have been dancing already, boys and girls. We would have been dancing together. Pause. But dancing at a wedding ain't a pause, right? Like if you dance with your boys, yo, let's get to dance, son. Pause. Let's get it in. Let's get hit the dance floor, son. Grab a shorty, Duke. Grab a shorty, son. That's a different kind of love, too. Like when you meet a girl at a wedding, son. Cause like, depending on the mood, like if it's a vibe, like if the drinks is litty, you might be sleeping. <laughs> With the bridesmaids, huh? I mean, not the bride. Whoever the ladies are that go with the bride, you might be sleeping with her. Not the lady getting married. You know? Not the lady getting married. Maybe one of her best friends. I'm just trying to paint the picture for you. That's it. I'm just trying to paint. But we all know that situation when you're at a wedding, you think a shorty feeling you. She wanna she wanna cut a rug. Yeah. And they be they be looking they be looking wedding ready that day too like they hair did they've been working out because they know they gotta fit that dress so you catching them at their prime it's kind of a fucking trap if you ask me it's kind of a trap okay um yeah that's what it is I gotta remove these studs so. I got to get a hex key and remove both of these studs, then the header will come off. Ain't work on it in a while. Bear with me, baby. I pretty much got this stud loose. This is the only thing that's holding me up right now is this last stud. And you see, we'll talk more about when the engine comes out. But I think on the next, like when we reinstall the motor, I think uh, not, I'm not going to use studs because um, I don't want to scratch the firewall. I'm going to want to fix that because I've scratched it up throughout the years of racing it and swapping stuff around different header. This car never used to be lean and then I made it lean. See this angle over here? Pause. Okay, you stay there. That's a nice header, folks. Look at that nitro jizz. That's nitro jizz. Pause. Boom, 
bolt set up here for the bracket in the rear plus. <laughs> You guys are probably like, man, this guy with his pauses, man, this thing is kind of getting annoying. Yeah, I think we made it fun. We made the best of it, right? So, release it here. Can I see the bracket? Release it here. Get it out of the way. Sick piece. Sick, sick motor mount. Great job, Myers. My motor is ready to come out. Few more seconds. Now, I remember I was telling you about I just want a, uh, a smooth transition here, a smooth transaction. So I got this is the last bolt for this floating headlight bracket. Put that there. That irks me right now. You have no idea how much that irks me. You No idea. You think you know? You have no idea. But it is what it is. This car is going to come back a little bit different. So single headlight. I know somebody asked me about this too. Hey Aki, where can I get those? These are like um, plastic. They're much lighter. Um, I got these from Tri-State Motorsports. I don't know if they still have them, but they're one piece. I didn't want to keep dealing with that weird corner light thing and it's like cocked paws and it's then you lose it. So now it's just one piece. I know someone in the comments asked me. I got these from Tri-State Motorsports. Maybe you can hit them up, ask them. And then these eyelids are from Saibon. I had these on this car in 2008. Then I finally put them back. Did you get it? So now, um, my loved ones, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five, five bolts, nuts, pause, that are holding this motor into this car right now. So I'm just going to get a little bit of tension on those wheels, right? So that when I start to release the motor mounts, I don't have a dramatic drop. Right there. Now, when I start to release uh, this, these motor mounts, the motor's going to want to go back. So I have to be very careful about that. So um, hex keys are on this side. I believe those are a 10 hex key. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. Ski. But I mean, just look how much, look how much freedom I got, you know? Um, loosen this one, don't fully take it out. Okay, that, I like that right there. Cool? Now this one, I've got 17s here and I believe 219s. So. Release that first one there. Now, where is my 19? My beloved 19. Where are you, my beloved 19? Let's see if I can get away without using an extension. So, I have to release this motor now because of this stud. And I do need an extension for that. And I think that this 19 is not going to take out that one without an extension. So, I have to use a bigger gun but I have everything here done, right? If you ever notice why uh, the stuff, Jesus Christ, battery's gonna die, be right back. Well, that was a big ordeal with these camera, with the batteries, I don't know what's up with this Sony camera, dude. the battery is trash, man. And I've got like OEM ones, <laughs> you know? The OEM ones, I got aftermarket batteries, and it's still, I gotta get this bracket i got to get this bracket released from here. And I'm kind of trying to avoid using like a pry bar. So what I'll do is I'll maybe use the back of this fella here. I'll just push it out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guess you want to get out of there. All right. Good thing I loosened that. Wow, did I pull the threads? Might have pulled the threads, folks. Nah, didn't have enough thread. Honestly, didn't have enough thread. Let me see if I could just loosen, loosen this by shocking it without having to hold the hex. And that 
that's a 17, no an 18. I didn't pull the threads. Okay, done. Um, I saw it. You saw it too? You saw it? I saw it too. I just saw it. I was a little late. Forgot the slave cylinder. And this is, uh, this is what happens when you kind of speed up. But you know what? Small mistake. Caught it right in time. Didn't bother me. Didn't break nothing. Out of the way. Awesome. Put that here. All right, guys. I don't even have to move. I don't. I don't have to move nothing. Right up. And that is good. Motor's out. Now, this is what we want to take care of, right? So this is what I want to start to fix, you know? I want to weld a 17 nut back on here so I don't have to use a nut and bolt. You know, maybe take one of these, weld that there before painting it. This was nitro. <laughs> uh, a pretty strong dose of it and it just destroyed the paint get rid of this sticker now I know I know all the do's and don'ts see there goes that nice tubular subframe again um, I know all the do's and don'ts now so might get with Frank Downstar again tell him hey let's just do a whole bolt kit for the car make it look amazing uh, yeah yeah motors out wasn't too bad right it wasn't it wasn't crazy it wasn't super difficult it's just uh, I kind of had fun doing it. It's crazy to see my car in this form right now. Uh, most people wouldn't have taken it apart. They're like, yo, bro, it's show car ready. Again, stuff like this is in the back of my head. Like, I'm going to be able to clean all that. We just showed you with the header that if I don't put a stud, I'll be able to move this back and forth nice and easy with the header. I uh, want to get a new, um, a new rack rack and pinion fresh one I also have these brand new from Honda from the stash they're OEM in the package so um, going back to a stock subframe i um, gonna repowder coat all this stuff man this again this is like years and traveling and racing all over different states uh, car you know I brought this to a few car shows and whatnot and it, it held its ground it did great I'm proud of this vehicle it's just time to overhaul it you know it's been put away too much for too long and um, go from there let me tidy up a little bit let me get all my stuff in bins and nice and neat and I'll be right back with you guys motors tucked away last thing on my mind everything is in the tote already right I've got way more totes upstairs I'm going to organize even more. So basically this car will end up being in like four totes. Um, what do we got planned here? We need to strip this engine bay, right? And then I think after stripping the, I don't even want to, I don't really care about the top yet. Pause. Strip the engine bay, maybe get down to the suspension, drop all of this. Get back here, drop all of this. Now... I, none of that is in the way. Eventually, I'd have to bring it outside because after I... Um, uh, also, thank you guys for the suggestions on um, the Citri strip. Uh, a lot of you were saying, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's just, it's, it's weaker than like aircraft removal. I'm going to go with the aircraft removal because this thing is going to be tough to get that stuff off of the Raptor liner. Again, I, ha I have it sprayed here too. So I got to get rid of all of this. I want this car to have a real nice gloss on it. But um, yeah, knock out the brake system, get all the fluids out. I'm going to make a mess. I cleaned up already from whatever you know mess I had from today. Got the door cracked a little bit, let it dry up. But um, yeah, yup.
We are moving forward. Second day with the car, no front end on, motor is out. I'm moving at a really fast pace. Maybe I might not touch this car tomorrow. Maybe I might head over to um, Rap Specialties, get an update on Manolo, and drop off the side skirts. I completely forgot to bring them with me. But again, I think I'm moving at a great rate. What do you guys think? Um, do you think we're going to have a good vlog series? Again, this playlist will be under AK47EG. So anything I do with this car can easily be found on that playlist. But again, got my tools pretty much set back. Um, thank you to Gonzo, bro. Man, uh, I was filming. I want to give a big shout out to my boy Gonzo. Uh, he stopped by real quick and dropped this in the mail slot. And he gave my daughter a birthday card. I love you for that, bro. Thank you. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much for, to everyone for wishing my daughter a happy birthday. I'm going to wrap up here soon because I have to go to her school party. So <sighs> it's going to be a long journey, but it's going to be worth it. Again, my uh, my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for supporting me. Uh, thank you for commenting something positive. Thank you for uh, liking the video. I hope you guys got to enjoy some of this content today. I hope I was funny. I hope I made you smile. I'm just trying to keep this positivity up. Uh, every day there's something negative. Uh, some guy had a comment on I'm a hoodlum because I had a hoodie on the last vlog. The world is way too opinionated, man. It's so easy to write negativity. I thought about this... I thought about this driving here. You ever notice that you pay more attention to the bad comment? So let me give you an example. Yesterday, looking through the vlog comments and the support is beautiful. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. 10 comments, nothing but positivity. You know, I'm liking as I go, giving some hearts out. And I get to a negative comment. And then I pay more attention to the negative comment than the positive ones. That's human nature, ladies and gentlemen. That's life. You can tell me anything that you want. Oh, I don't let that get to me. Slowly it will. So what do I do to diffuse that? I block people. I block people on, I blocked three people on the last vlog. They'll never see my videos again. They have to make another page and then I'll block that one. I do not stand for negativity. I'm trying to be a clean, organic, transparent soul. I just gave a car away and six other prizes. My, my, how we forget to keep the positivity, right or wrong, Gunners, right? How fast does the public forget, Gunners? If you're with me on this, put a gun up, man. If you're riding with me, if you my family, my brother, my sister, put a gun in the comments because how quickly people forget. How entitled do people get is scary, right? But anyway, I'm going to continue to push this envelope of positivity no matter what. I'm always going to smile. I'm never going to walk with my head down. I'm never going to cower. I'm never going to be scared of going someplace because I owe somebody something. I don't owe a single soul nothing but my loyalty. That's it. I love you guys. Keep going. Like, like, comment, subscribe. Try it again. Like, comment, like, comment and subscribe to keep gunning.